Yeah, what is going on everybody? Ama here. We are back with some MLB 15 the show on the PS4. Continue on our road to the show. This is the first pre-recorded video I did. Previously they've all been uh live commentaries, but I didn't feel like doing this one live, so recorded it the other day and got some gameplays. I'll probably do a mixture of these one and the live commentaries. I'm not sure if I'm gonna start a new franchise yet or what team I'm gonna use, just because uh I've been playing a lot of road to the show. I think I hit this game like a week ago and I'm already um well, at this point, I'm halfway into the season. As you can see, we are still on the double-A team currently. I am a center fielder, 64 overall, so I think I started out of the year at, like, level, uh, or not level, but overall stats were, like, 52, 53, so I got off to 64 halfway into the season, which is pretty good, so. One bad thing, which I didn't look until after this, is our roster. They can see hitting 324 at the season, 8 home runs, 44 RBIs at the, uh, halfway point, so... Really good for uh, guys only 18. Usually uh, when I play these games, I decide to send my guy back to uh, college for a year or two so he gets more stat points, but I figure I just grind it out and play through double A so I get way more stat points because I think you get like a couple thousand XP, but it's a full year your guy loses of uh, play time, so just send him to double A. As you can see, first at bat here of the All-Star game is lined to deep center and their center fielder gets under that, so that is going to be a line out there that will keep the runner on first base. Not a bad out for us here, you can see. Get double the points since it's the all-star game so 21 points total she probably waited and got a higher pitch count just so i could get more points here more attribute points but whatever i saw a pitch on the swing at so went after it difficulty all-star progress so you can see i know it's not really a hard difficulty but i'm using like the dynamic difficulty or whatever it's called since my stats really aren't anything great um that's <laughs> what i'm playing on now and i'll probably leave it like that for road to the show if do franchise, I'll probably change it to a higher difficulty, but I like how it is for the show currently, and um, I'm sure if I ever get called up to AAA, I'm hoping to get called up by the end of the season. I'm near the end here. I don't know how I haven't been called up yet, but I would think that the pitching is going to be way better in AAA, so I did look at our roster, and our roster is pretty stacked with outfielders, so I think after this game, I am going to go in and try to uh, change up my position here. I'm going to go for something infield, since I looked at our, uh, our AAA roster, our center fielder has an 80 overall. And then our pro uh, center fielder has like an 82, 83, so definitely want to change positions up here. I was thinking, um, I, I, Padre's entire infield isn't really anything good. It's all pretty crappy, so thinking shortstop or second base, probably switch. So you never played second base in this game. Used a uh, shortstop when I had the PS3 for my road to the show, guys, so that is probably the position I am going to switch to, so... I think that's what I'll do after this All-Star game. As you can see, we are currently in the lead. 4-3 is the score, bottom of the fifth. 0-2 oh, is the count to my dude here. So I'm just trying to uh, stay alive, not to strike out on something bad. And of course, I chased an awful cutter that was way high. I don't know if that broke upwards or what, but that was just an embarrassing strikeout by me. Get no points for that at bad. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the sixth here. I also went into the settings, you know how you can change it so you don't have to do any base running at all. I changed it so I don't have to do any fielding at all, it pretty much simulates all fielding. So I'm just batting here so it makes the games go by so much quicker. And then I sort of started working on my defensive stats since they were uh, god awful for a while. I was a DH for like the first uh, first month or two. Now for whatever reason they decided to let my guy play center field full time even with his awful defense stats. So started trying to work on those a little bit, but mainly I'm trying to get my power up against righties and then kind of work in the contact righties and lefties around like 50, 55 each, so it's nothing good than the power is around like 49, 50 for uh, power against right-handed hitters and then power against lefties is pretty awful. So there you can see, nothing great in the All-Star game. We get pinch hit for in the eighth inning. I think we end up taking this one though. I'm not sure uh, what it does because I'm not familiar with double A baseball at all, but it like... It said we won the first half of the season, and then the records start over. I don't know how it worked. It's kind of weird. There you can see, uh, one for four with a strikeout. It's not the greatest all-star appearance. We did score a run, though, off that single in the fourth inning. So, we get 305 attribute points for it. I think that was because we won. We got 250. So, uh, not a great game, but as you can see there, overall, 61. Adjusted overall, just how well I'm playing. 68. So, thanks for watching, guys. More Road to the Shoe games coming. So, uh, stay tuned, and, uh... Yeah, alright. Awkward ending, but whatever. <laughs>